Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we are going to um, copy some list. Now why is copying list important? Well if we create a list and then we want to modify it but we want to keep the original we probably want to copy it so we're not messing with our original list. Now the copy method gives us that ability to do that. So some people get confused with reassigning and stuff like that so I'm going to show you how to properly do this um, and I'm going to explain it and we're going to get really deep into this real quick A is equal to so we're going to create a list one two and three all right so we create a list here now let's get the ID of this list to prove it's you know it's it's an object so here's our ID for our object and it's the ID of this right here. This is our object, all right? And this is just a variable. And this is the ID of that object, all right? Um, so we got this. Now, some people think we can just go B is equal to A, all right? To make a copy of it. Sure, if you think about it, you know, that, that might make sense, but that's not how it works. So if I call B, I'm gonna get the uh, one, two, three. Awesome, I made a copy of it. No, I really didn't because what I'm doing here is I'm just actually referencing the same object. So if I do ID B, hit return, you can see these two numbers right here match up. All right, and that's not good because if I went in and said, all right, B append uh, four, all right, and I call B, I'm gonna get one, two, three, four. I call A, I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. But I didn't want to change A. Damn, I didn't want to change A. So, um, that's not going to work for us, okay? Uh, so there's another way to do it. We can use the copy method. And the copy method allows us to copy the original up here and spit it and move it over while we're copying it and creating a new object. It's just taking a mask of this create a new object so we can modify it. So let's clear our screen and we're going to start all over again. A is equal to 1, 2, and 3. We'll call A. We got 1, 2, 3. And we'll do ID A so we know what the ID is. All right. Now what I'm going to do is B is equal to A dot copy. Hit return. And now I'm going to call B. Oh, it looks the same. Okay. Now I'm going to call the ID on B and if you can notice this they are different alright that ends in 60 this ends in 44 so they are different objects now so now if I go and do um, B dot append 4 hit return call B I got 1 2 3 4 call A I got 1 2 3 awesome we fixed that problem but understanding how this works is very important. Understanding variables and how objects work is very important. If you haven't watched our video on um, variables and objects, it's way back in the beginning. I don't even know what, uh, what it's called. Understanding variables or something like that. I suggest you watch that because you need to have a good understanding of what's going on here because you could really screw up your program. If you had a list full of tons of of data which almost every program does we have tons of data in the list and if we want to modify that list for that programs run that day we could really screw up the default settings of our website our, our website our program I said website because I was staring at my other screen um, so we could screw up our program but by copying our list and modifying it outside the original um, list gives us more flexibility security and um, keeps from us screwing things up and I'm pretty good at screwing things up so you can tell I figured out how this works because I'm an idiot sometimes and I like to screw things up so let's just go through this one more time so you understand this we're gonna do a is equal to one two and three and that's our list we call a we get one, two, three, and we're gonna do ID of A. Alright. 
and now we got this uh, ID for our object right here. These two go hand in hand right here, all right? And that's how it identifies it. All A does is points to that object. says, hey, when you call me, I'm going to return this. My job and only job is when you call me, I'm going to go over and get this guy and put it on the screen for you. Just like right here, all right? That's all A does. Now, if I do B, B is equal to A, hit return, and I call B, now B is doing the same exact thing as A. It's saying, hey, look, I'm, I'm over here hanging out with this object too. When you call my name, I'm going to bring this object over and inter introduce you to him. But it's the same object. So you got A and B hanging out over in another side of the street with uh, one, two, three in the list. All right. And they're just going to bring them over and introduce you to him when you call them over. Well, what happens if we want to use one, two, three and modify it, but we want one, two, and three to stay on the other side of the street at all times and don't come over and hang out with us? Well, we have to use copy. All right. So just to prove that B is the same as A right now, currently, we do we do ID and we get the ID and you can see they're referencing the same exact object all right so how do we ch copy this list here and not modify the original what we do B is equal to a dot copy now copy takes no arguments so you just gotta remember copy all right hit return call B and now we got one two three all right, so that looks the same as up here, but technically it's not because now B is B left the other side of the street and is now on our side of the street with this one, two, and three hanging out with this one, two, and three, and A is still on the other side of the street hanging out with this one, two, and three. So let's take a look at this. We'll do ID A, and then we'll do ID B. Now you can see they're hanging out with two different list objects. All right. So they're referencing two different list objects. So now we can go ahead and change B by B append for, hit return, call B, now one, two, three, and four show up on our screen. I'm just gonna adjust my screen size here. And now we call A and A stays on the other side of the street, one, two, and three. So that is copy and that's when we would use copy and that's how copy works. If you have questions please leave a comment on youtube or on our website learnpythontutorial.com don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video i will see you in the next one have a wonderful day